This is gonna be one of the most important videos you watch when it comes to integration. Integration by recognition. So all of the top mathematicians use this to integrate most integrals because most integrals, we can ju actually just use recognition, okay? So the best mathematicians use pattern recognition to be able to just compute tons of integrals in seconds, okay? And it comes from our understanding of differentiation, okay? So we're gonna look at all the different types of functions that they could ask you to integrate at a very basic level and see through pattern recognition what guesses we can make in terms of the answer and then we're gonna practice some questions, okay? So if I have a look at something like x to the power of n, okay? And we differentiate that. If you differentiate x power of n, it's a power function, right? So you bring down the power and then knock one off the power. Now that means something like this integrates to just x power of n. So power functions integrate to power functions. But it's very important we recognize that the power will go up by one. So if we want to integrate a power function, we make an educated guess. It's not a guess because there's thought behind this. I just write guess. Some people say recognize or some rubbish like that. So if we're integrating some power function, we make a guess and then we differentiate it to check our answer. Okay, and I'm going to show you later on how we do that. e to the x. We know e to the x differentiates to itself, right? Which means if we want to integrate an exponential, my guess is that it just integrates to itself. If we have Linux, what does Linux differentiate to? Well, Linux differentiates to 1 over x. So now if I have fractions, my thought process is that it's going to integrate back to a Lun. So if I see fractions, I'm thinking about Lun. So it's all about what you're thinking about, okay? Cos x. Cos x differentiates to minus sine x. Now we actually don't worry about these signs here. Yeah, even this n here. We don't even worry about that. So if I see sine x, my thought process is that it's going to integrate to a cosine function. And then we address the um, positives, negatives, constants after. Sine x. Sine differentiates to a cosine function, meaning if I want to integrate a cosine function, I'm thinking about the function of sine. Now with tan, if I differentiate tan, that's going to give me sec squared. So if I see that I want to integrate sec squared, I'm thinking about tan. Cosec. So really, guys, all this is about your knowledge of differentiation. So I don't actually call this integration. I call it anti-differentiation. Okay. Now, cosec. What does that differentiate to? Cosec differentiates to minus cosec cot. If you remember in a previous video, I showed you guys that anything to do with cosec in calculus brings out a negative. But remember, this sign doesn't even matter. We deal with it in the process of differentiation. So if I see cosec and cot next to each other, then when I integrate, I am thinking about the function of cosec. Cot. Cot differentiates to minus cosec squared. Forgetting about the negative, if I'm integrating cosec squared, then I'm thinking about cot in that process of integration. Then finally, sec. Sec differentiates to sec tan. So in the process of integrating a function like sec tan, I'm thinking about sec. This is very important. What I recommend you do, take a screenshot of this, hang it up on your wall as a beautiful poster. Here I am as well. <laughs> you can put that there as well, Mike, so you remember where it came from. So let's use this concept to integrate stuff like this. Integrate 3e to the power of x minus cos x squared x plus 1 over 2x. Okay? So we're going to make guesses. Okay, what is my guess for the first thing? Ignore the 3. It's 3e e to the x, but ignoring the 3, it's just e to the x. I want to integrate an exponential. I know that they integrate and differentiate to the same thing. So my guess is that it's going to be e to the x. Then we differentiate that to check. e to the x differentiates to e to the x. 
which means e to the x integrates back to the same thing. But we wanted 3e to the x. So all we're going to do is multiply both sides by 3. And there's our answer, 3e to the x. Cos x squared. Okay, so I'm thinking from my experience of differentiation, what differentiates to cos x squared? That's cot. Okay, so I'm going to write cot. Then in that process of differentiation, cot differentiates to minus cos x squared. So that integrates back to this. Oh, that's great because that says minus cos x squared, so it just goes to a positive cot. Very important. Students just write minus cot. They don't take into account that there's that negative there, which is why this process is very useful. And then finally, we've got the uh, 1 over 2x, which I'm going to do over here. It's a fraction. Okay, fractions, I know ln differentiates to fractions, so my guess is going to be ln x. But ln x differentiates to 1 over x. So 1 over x integrates back to ln x. But I wanted 1 over 2x. That just means I need to half both sides. Okay? That gives me 1 over 2x. And there's your answer, guys. So my answer is 3. So we have 3 e to the x. Then we have plus cot x. Then we have plus 1 half ln x. So don't forget your plus c, mate. And it's as simple as that. Take a look at this. Cosec cot. All right. Cosec cot. I know cosec differentiates to cosec cot. So I'm going to make this guess of cosec. Because cosec differentiates to cosec cot. But what else? The angle must always stay the same. Cosec of one third x. Now we just need to differentiate that. What's the first thing we always do? We differentiate the angle. 1 third x differentiates to 1 third. Then cosec goes to negative cosec cot. So we get negative cosec third x cot third x. Okay? So that means this integrates back to this. But I didn't want to integrate this. Where do you see the minus a third over here? You don't. So we need to multiply both sides by something that gets rid of this minus a third. Now one way you guys can think of this is this coefficient is 1, right? You do what you want divided by what you have. You do 1 divided by minus a third, which is minus 3. Okay? So we're timesing both sides by minus 3. And there's your answer. So we get equals minus 3 cosec 1 third x plus c. Final one, the integral of 3 to the power of x. Now over here, I've not spoken about 3 to the power of x. But what is it the most like? It's like our exponentials. I mean, it is an exponential, just like e to the x. So just like the same with e to the power of x, my guess is that it's going to stay the same. So my guess is 3 to the power of x. But now I differentiate to see what happens. Now, from our days of differentiation, this should be really easy to us now. 3 to the power of x differentiates to itself, just like e to the x, but then you have to ln the base, so ln 3, which means this integrates back to this. But we didn't want to integrate 3 to the power of x ln 3. We need to get rid of the ln 3. Yeah. Now here, you would times both sides by 1 over ln 3 to get rid of it, or you could divide by ln 3. In general, I like to write multiplication yeah, when doing all of these. Yeah, so I always write multiply. But when it comes to these ones, I actually like to write divide. This is situational. But you guys can write m times by 1 over ln 3. You just do whichever one you prefer. So we're going to divide both sides by ln 3. And there's your answer. Okay? So it's actually very simple. So A equals 3 to the power of x divided by ln 3. Then we have plus c. And that, guys, is integration by recognition. This is what all true mathematicians use when integrating. Next lesson, we're going to look at the reverse chain rule, which is going to be a lot more tricky integrals, which a lot of students like to use substitution for, but no true mathematician really does because 
they all love pattern recognition and it's much faster and you just uh, more efficient okay so guys I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button if you learned something today subscribe for more maths content and if you're interested in my A-level maths courses link is in the description and if you want to join my community and you want to submit your own questions the Lung Gang Reddit page is linked down below as well I'll see you in the next video nice